Brahms' music is heartbreaking, and, and Mozart is magical, and, and Bach is spiritual. But Beethoven has something that is probably common to all of us. It has that deep resonance into the aspiration of humanity. We all want to be uh, bigger, better, stronger, and to do good things. His melodies are incredibly simple. And because of that, he manages to get to the essence of music. He was kind of a, a rock star, we could say. My name is Irina Mureshanu, and I will be performing the Beethoven Violin Concerto with the Symphony of New Hampshire on January 23rd in Concord and January 24th in Nashua. The concerto at first was very unsuccessful. The first performance was <laughs> a disaster. Um, the violinist that was dedicated to Franz Clement apparently didn't have time to practice the part because Beethoven didn't finish the part on time. So either he was frustrated because of that or he was frustrated because of the technical challenges of the piece. It turns out that he took a break from the concerto between the second and third movement and played a piece of it his own with the violin upside down. <laughs> Imagine that, the greatest, the, the premiere of the greatest concerto, violin concerto in the history of music and uh, the performance is interrupted by just a show piece with a violin upside down. <laughs> the second performance of this concerto, which was done decades, uh, probably about 40 years after the premiere of this concerto, Joseph Joachim, who was a child prodigy, played it under the direction of uh, Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi. So together they, they revived this concerto and of course after that it was part of the standard repertoire. This concerto has a simple, beautiful, clean lines that I'm sure uh, people will go home whistling. Even if you've never been to a classical music concert, the Beethoven Violin Concerto is the one piece you will really love 